Hello and welcome. In this video we will continue looking at second quarter gold demand by looking at central bank gold demand both present and historical. In second quarter 2014, central banks purchased 117.8 tons of gold, up 28% from second quarter 2013, where central banks purchased 92.1 tons. And the increase in central bank demand was the only real increase in demand for second quarter. In second quarter 2014, central banks increased their purchases of gold to 118 tons from 92 tons from second quarter 2013 for a 28% increase. In the first half of 2014, central banks purchased more gold than either half of 2013. Looking at the past yearly totals, we can see that prior to 2010, central banks were net sellers of gold each year. And even in 2010, central banks were only net buyers of a small amount. Then we see a consistent change starting 2011 of large amounts of gold being purchased by central banks. This is a breakdown of central bank gold demand by quarter from second quarter 2008 through the present. As we can see, up through the beginning of the financial crisis, Central banks were net gold sellers, and even in the beginning of the financial crisis, they weren't buying all that much except for one quarter, until the beginning of 2011. And we can see that gold purchases by central banks starting in first quarter 2011 took a large change to the upside and has not looked back. It is interesting to point out that QE2 was announced November 3rd of this quarter. This is a graph of central bank gold demand by quarter as a percent of total gold demand. We can see that consistently since 2011, each quarter, with the exception of one quarter, 8 to 16 percent of all gold demand has been from central banks. Second quarter brought the 14th consecutive quarter that central banks have been net purchasers of gold. And with the consistency over the last three years, we can see that central banks are certainly choosing gold long term. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.